I'm Trev Neve. My wife and I have been members of the Foggy Bottom West End Village for about five or six years now. So how do we find community in the village? Well, we agree that in the first year of membership, we met more people in this neighborhood than we had in the previous 20 years that we've lived here. And that's not surprising with so much the village has to offer. We have our museum and gallery tours, book clubs, movie clubs. We have monthly lunches, weekly coffees. We have dance classes and wellness classes. It's difficult not to find something that doesn't engage you. I think one of our favorite things is now that when we walk the neighborhood, we invariably see somebody that we know. So, yes, we found community in the village, and it turned out to be not that hard. Hello, my name is Paula Blair, and I'm a member of the East Rock Creek Village community. This unique gathering of people who live in Upper Northwest DC has gained such momentum in my heart because we spent a lot of time being together, playing together via Zoom, uh, lamenting what we've lost and missed throughout the pandemic pandemic, but most importantly, sharing our joys, uh, which were few for a while, more as the spring has progressed. Uh, we share jazz and interest in travel, updates on grandchildren and children, updates on what's growing in our gardens, but most importantly, knowing the reassuring smiles of those who are in leadership as they greet us, bring us great information, and make sure others in our community who can't move around have access to groceries and prescriptions and rides to places that are very important to them. Connectedness is community and that means love. I love East Rock Creek Village. Thank you. Hello, I, my name is Martha Williams. Uh, and I am a member of the Georgetown Village group. I joined the village because uh, Gail Worthammer and Lynn Gottlieb came to the building where I live to tell about the village at a time when I was thinking about retiring and thinking, what am I going to do with my time when I'm finished, when I'm no longer working? I was a realtor and it was a 724 job, uh, but I'm at that point was approaching my 80th birthday and was thinking, all right, what would I do if I weren't working all the time? That was four years ago. Um, I've been delighted with the village and it has proved invaluable during the COVID because me online with all kinds of things that I never knew existed. Also, I depended upon the village for reliable information, reliable updates on their weekly COVID updates. I couldn't live without it. Thank you. Hello, my name is Gloria Kreisman. I'm a member of Palisades Village and have been for many years. Uh, in good times and in bad. Uh, in good times before the pandemic, uh, Palisades Village was mostly a social place for me. Wonderful parties, wonderful people, uh, lovely events, um, lots of good food. It was great fun. Then came the pandemic. And as you know, things changed dramatically but it has been a lifeline since then. I don't know how I could have managed without it. Just before the pandemic, I, I moved from a house I had lived in for many, many years to an apartment. And so I was facing a pandemic in a new place without my old friends, without my old connections, but I still had Palisades Village. And that meant that they arranged for one of the members to call me every day to make sure I was all right, seven days a week. And that friend through those phone calls, those daily phone calls has now become a dear friend. They also arranged for weekly deliveries to my doorstep of 
wonderful soups made by our panhandlers, headed by Bob Bordeaux-Tui, accompanied by delicious cookies and brownies. And that was wonderful. Village. I look forward to going back to the good times, but I thank them from the bottom of my heart.